Hello! This is part two of my Living in a Van in a City series. Uh, if you've not watched part one, please go do that now. That is covering the basics of basic survival. This time we are talking about being comfortable living in a van in a city. The first thing you should do is always, always lock your van when you leave. Put up your blinds and hide your valuables. Fortunately for me, my van kind of looks like a piece of shit from the outside and I've never had anyone try to break into it. That being said, I do know a few girls who have been sleeping in their cars and woken up to someone trying to break into their van or car. I think. One of them was in a truck, one was sleeping in a Prius. So do your best to make your van look like there is nothing valuable in it, there's nothing important in it. In some cities, this means opening your glove box and showing people that there's nothing valuable inside. So for me, when I leave, I put the sun shield up, put down the curtain, I either take my laptop or my computer with me or I hide them in the van. I remove everything from the front of the car and I keep all of my window covers up. And I usually try and park if I'm not going to be with my van all day in like a well-lit area where a lot of people are going to be going by just so that, you know, I have peace of mind. Sleeping comfortably, this is one of those things that is really hard in some cities because it's so loud. What I have found is that earplugs are a really great solution to this problem. Put in some earplugs and crash wherever you're at. It also helps me not be so stressed out because I hear sounds like people walking around, just like, you know, people just going somewhere and I'll be like who is that what's who's who's that's on my van it's like you know people half the time most of the time 90% of the time nobody even knows that you're in your van mental comfort for me a comfort thing about living in the city is getting away from people when you're in a van you don't have a lot of privacy in the city in the country it's usually just you and you can open your door and you have this freedom you can stretch out when you're in a city you're like oh god there's people like people are gonna look into your van try and get a peek people are gonna ask you what you're doing there's definitely a more attitude of like closing yourself off and closing the van. So what that means is spend time away from your van uh, and go somewhere where there are people that are all doing something that doesn't involve you and your van. It's really relaxing for me to go into a coffee shop, get a nice cup of coffee, sit down with my computer and my headphones in and just get some work done. It's a way for me to like mentally clear my brain. Public libraries are really good for this too. You can be around people who are also being very quiet people who are just looking at books. It's very peaceful and relaxing. You can also go to public parks, which are really nice. Particularly the places I go to, there's probably some strangers slacklining or juggling or doing acro yoga and you can just sit there and watch. Public parks are nice. Beaches too. Beaches are great. Basically mental comfort, don't sit in your van all the time. It will drive you crazy and start to feel like a giant metal box that is your prison. Be comfortable by staying clean. I think it's much easier to go out in nature and be dirty because you know you're in nature and nobody really cares and it's just you and like a few other people so you're all kind of used to your own smell in a city that is not the case i shower every single day when i'm in the city because i feel so gross you know greasy and like there's people and exhaust from the cars and smoke and you know there's just a lot of things happening self-care is really important in a city so when i'm in a city i do my laundry as often as i can i shower as often as i can because there's a much more serious mental and emotional toll that you're going through when you're in a city versus when you're out in a peaceful nature area. So yeah, being comfortable living in a van in a city is really about taking care of yourself. Upping that self-care. Do you have like face masks that you like to do? Go find some cheap face masks from like the dollar store or whatever and do that. Paint your nails if you need to. <laughs> I have this great Theracane that I just picked up and I go way harder in the city on my back with this thing than I do outside. You have to take care of yourself, especially when you're on the road and you're a little bit more vulnerable. Okay, so this has been part two of my living in a van in a city series. Next time I'll be covering part three, which is all about working and thriving. If you liked this, you should also check out part one, which was all about basic survival skills for living in a city. Let me know if you have any questions. You can follow me on all the socials at One Chick Travels for Facebook and Instagram. My website is onechicktravels.com, Twitter at Kaya Says, and I just launched a Patreon, so you can support me there if you thought that this video or any of my other videos was as good as a bag of peanuts or better at patreon.com slash one chick travels and if nothing else i will see you guys next time